Hey, what's up, YouTube? I got something pretty cool to show you guys today. This right there is something I just built. Check it out. So this is a power supply for all of your 12-volt RC chargers. I got my little Cell Pro Multi-4 sitting right there. And what makes this so great is uh, the fact that I didn't pay a dime for this charger. Yep, you got me right. I didn't pay a single dollar for this charger except for some of these parts here that I had laying around from another Radio Shack visit. So how did I do it? Well, it's pretty simple. This is actually an ATX power supply out of a computer. Oh, shut up. So basically, when you get an ATX power supply, it's got a cable, big wiring harness, looks something like that. It's kind of messed up. It's kind of nasty looking. So, how did I hack that out of this? So this comes with a number of different wire attachments. You got a, you got yellow wire, black wire, red wire, the orange, purple, brown, all kinds of different colors. But basically, all we are worried about is are these yellow wires. Every single yellow wire here is a 12 volt positive. So that those are the ones we want because 90% of these RC chargers are 12 volt positive chargers. So the 12 volts DC is gonna come out of that lead and any of these black wires are ground. But you'll notice something, when you plug one of these chargers in straight into the wall, it doesn't do a thing, it doesn't turn on. There's a very specific reason for that, and I can open up this box here to show you guys. So here I've got my yellow wire, my black wire, which is ground, and then I got the green wire that would normally be connected to this plug right here. You can see the green wire. Basically, when you connect the green wire to negative, it sends a signal to the power supply telling it to turn on. So when you push the start button on your computer, it connects that green wire to this negative wire. And all that is is real simple. I've just got it hooked up. Green wire on a switch to negative wire, and then positive and negative go into the positive and negative uh, leads for my charger. Totally dead simple. Didn't cost me a single dime. You can build one of these things in your basement, and that's actually what I did. I just had these this sitting out of a junk computer. So mine is 300 watts. It charges everything I need because I've got a little uh, multi four, a little four amp charger, which you know I don't I don't need to charge my batteries at some stupidly ridiculous C rating or anything. So this works just fine for me, and it takes up a nice place on my bench, and I don't have to use any of those nasty SLAs that I had sitting around anymore. So, awesome. Works for me. Enjoy, guys. See if you can build one yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.